Last runner in, field in line. Starter looking over for his light. Still waiting on it. And that light, as you know, to let him know that the track is clear for racing. And still, no light, can't see from here what could be delaying the clearance of the track. Now there goes the light. They're off. Fair start. Trendsetter in between horses. There goes Palace Gold now moving quickly on the outside as they leave the five. Classic Paul hounding him along with Fluffy. These three across the course. New Kingston in the white cap racing further back. Prince Theo right there on the rail. Little Wasp in between them. No more than five off that lead. And a trendsetter a further two and a half lengths last. At the 7th, 16th, and they're in the bend for home, and Fluffy guides them by almost three lengths. Palace Gold in pursuit on the outside of the rail running Classic Bow. They slip past the three. Prince Theo races next with Little Wasp attached to her outside. He's outside. Right there, too, New Kingston and Trendsetter at the back of the pack as Fluffy has turned for home, stepping towards center course. Palace Gold and Classic Bow on the rail. Prince Theo more toward the center, along with Little Wasp now loosened for a charge. Trendsetter on the outside of New Kingston. They're spread right across the course any number could play they're inside the final furlong a little wasp battling now prince theo trendsetter and new kingston trying to close up palace gold on the far side little wasp driven right out just gets there over prince theo close between trendsetter and new kingston In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of the 7-6 Little Wasp, a five-year-old Bay Mare by Northern Fleet, one of the ones by Air Forbes One, bred Marvin Little Jr. and uh, J.I. Racing, owned Ida Costa, G. Dulal Whiteway, W. Kong and Raymond Rousseau.